Hello my friends, Photoshop lovers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove backgrounds from your pictures like this inside of Photoshop, right? Even complicated pictures, right? I found out something very, 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 very interesting. So you need to stick with me to the end of this video to discover what I found out. Okay, so you can also support the growth of the channel by actually buying me a cup of coffee. So this is how you can actually do it if my video has been impactful to you and you just want to say thank you, this is the easiest way to do it. So while watching any of my video, you can just come here and click on this thanks and this is going to pop out, right? So now what you have here is a slider. So it's showing Naira because um, I'm in Nigeria currently, right? So if you move this slider upward, this is as high as 100,000 Naira. So if you want to give me 100,000 Naira, please feel free to do that. 400 Naira, 1,000, 2,000 Naira. So you can use this when you are certain of, of the amount you want. Click on buy and send. Now it will bring you to this page. All you simply need to do is just impute your card. And that's all. Any card actually works, right? Impute your card here. You can see I have my card here already. So... All you just need to do at this point is just click on the buy and basically that's all so this is one of the ways you can use to support my channel right so if i've been helpful if my videos have been impactful this is the way you can actually give back to the channel right thank you in advance okay so without having to waste much of your time let's get started so you can see that i have my images opened the resource file is in the description of this video alongside everything in this video so i'm going over to select my lasso tool i'm going to be using my lasso tool for this this tool is very 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 powerful so i'm going to use it to make a selection this is the first thing you should do when you want to remove a background from your image so you just don't go ahead and select to remove background create a selection now this is not to say this is the selection of the image just rough Click on this select and mask here like this it's going to bring up this interface this is the whole new interface for removing background so one thing you want to do here is click on select subject again it's going to ask you this click ok fine now this time it's going to make the right selection you can see how it has made the right selection right so this is why you don't have to worry yourself trying to select now a few changes that i made here the first thing here make sure it's on overlay or you can try other option but i've come to realize that overlay works for me so that i can see the image and see what is left of the image now the next thing you need to do is click on refine hair right so when you click on refine hair this is what you have so i don't need to paint or do anything automatically it does the job for me right so as it is like this we have everything ready but one last thing we need to do click on decontaminate colors now this is very important when if you be putting your image on a white background so that you don't have um, like debris of the image on the background so i'm not going to make it 100 i'm just going to reduce this not too much um and the last thing i'm going to do i'm going to new layer with new with new layer mask and click ok so this is what you have you can see how nicely done is so let, ex, let's try and experiment this so i'm setting my background color you can see did a perfect job for us right like i said stick to the end i'm going to show expose some secrets to you that you don't know yet right so this is the first one right so clicking on solid color you can make this any color of your choice you've gotten rid of the background you're good to go Right, so I'm just done with um, selecting. I think I'm just gonna leave it here and um, easy peasy. So moving on to the next image, I'm going to apply the same principle here, right? So what do you need to do? The same thing, right? Use your lasso tool. This is your lasso tool. You get your lasso tool here. You select it and uh, this is the lasso tool so when you select it just make a rough selection now i'm saying make a rough selection i'm not saying you should go overboard right just make a rough selection but in your roughness make it perfect you understand what i mean right so um sticking to perfection i'm just going to make this a rough selection around the image the next thing you should do is click on select um select and mask 
click on it it's going to bring you inside of this small world All right now the next thing you should do again is click on select subject so it's going to i don't know the kind of mathematical equation photoshop actually does here but then it's photoshop right so you can see how it has selected the subjects alone now you can see that you have um, a remnant of the yellow there so let's click on refine here and let's see what happens he's doing his mathematics again it's calculating and um you can see that it's all gone perfect so we have close to like a perfect image but we can make it more perfect so what do we do you guess the right click on decontaminate colors you can see how much change we have so i'm going to leave mine at 50 or 40 something whichever one works for you but i'm not going to make it 100 the same settings here and let's see let's see there's literally nothing left to do just click ok you can see that it, this has entirely removed even when you have complicated hairstyle like the one you have on this woman. So that goes a long way to show you that you can actually use this method to actually remove anything. Even if it's a complicated hair, you can actually refine the hair this way. Right? You can see I'm changing my colors and I see I have a perfect selection of the image. Right? I can go on to use this for my posters, for my flyers, for my web banners or my social media flyers right you can see how this is amazing so for this last image we have this cute look looking sheep um with um a bubble gum i don't know if that's a balloon or a gum but i just know the sheep is very cute so i'm just going to make the same selection like this and um it's a rough selection but then it's close to being perfect let's try this out and select and when you're done, click on select and mask. And wait for it. Good. So the next thing you want to do is click on select subject like this. And let's see what happens. Right, still the same method. Oops, we have a problem. But this problem is not too much that we can solve, right? It has omitted these areas. So we need to add them back. So what you need to do, switch to this quick selection and make a selection of this part here. Right? Now you might need to be delicate here now. Making a selection back of this point. You can see it has selected areas where we don't want. Click on this minus. You can make your brush smaller by using the bracket key close to the letter P. Reduce it like this. And this is what you have. Also reduce on this side until you get a perfect selection. Right? So, another thing that you want to do again is that we can go on and click on the refine, um, refine edge. We don't need, you don't need to come back here and click on select subject, right? Just click on refine hair first, right? Just refine the hair. You can see that there's a leak from where we were and where we are now, right? Now let's go and um, click on refine edge brush and refine the edge like this. Now you might want to zoom in for this because you can see areas like this, it's not touched. So I can just zoom in and refine this edge. You can see how nicely blended it is. Now moving up, I can see that I have an issue here. So it has selected what it's not supposed to select. So click on this. Uh, it's supposed to be on plus. So we need to unselect all these areas. So set it back to plus and deselect these areas like this. All right? Deselect these areas. We don't need to select these areas. Okay, good. So now that we've deselected these areas, we are safe. Um, go back to refine edge. If you zoom close here, you can see that the edges here are not that refined. So let's refine it like this. You can see that has been taken care of. 
And on top here, not really necessary, but then let's try and see. Good. And on the side here. So you can also um, be delicate. You can spend time around adjusting your images like this, the way I'm doing mine. Just make sure everything is properly refined, right? It goes a long way to enhancing the entire output of your composition, right? So I'm just going to refine this um, like this. And um, easy peasy. Right. Also, this way too. So you can spend. Um, you have time. You can spend time here trying to refine these things before you output it to a new layer. Right, like I'm doing with mine now. So, I have everything in place. Um, I'm just going to decontaminate colors here. And um, I'm going to click OK. Now, I'm going to leave it at 100 because it's a hairy subject, right? So I'm just going to leave it there like that. You can see how nicely done this is. But then I noticed something. There's a problem here. So when we're selecting, we didn't deselect that area. That's why we have it that way, right? So there's a way to actually fix this. Right, so if you use the history brush, you're supposed to bring it up, but in most cases like this, it's not gonna work. So the history brush cannot solve our problem here now. So what then do we do to solve this? Okay, so let's try a method. So right click and convert to smart objects, and right click again and rasterize this layer. Now you can see that the history brush is working, right? So what you need to do is, I'll do that again, right click, convert to smart object, right click and rasterize layer and select the history brush. And when you paint in, you can see that it has put back the information that you have on the image. So you can replicate this on other areas, but make sure you're not doing too much. Yeah, my guy, make sure you're not doing too much. Okay, so convert to smart object back because when you want to start moving around, you must make sure that it's actually a smart object. So your images doesn't pixelate. Okay, so um, we have our background for this cute um, image here. So um, let's move on. Okay, now remember I told you I had a secret to share with you. Now, when you go to this website, I'm just I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video, right? It's called Adobe Express, right? So when you go to this website, click on Get Adobe Express for free. Now, this is also a powerful tool. But now what we're going to be concentrating on is the background remover aspect of this website. Right? You can see that you have so many tools here, but that's not why we are here. We are actually here for this guy here, which is the remove background. So when you click on remove background, it's going to bring up this um, box or this area. Now click on browse, go ahead and select your image that you want to remove. All right. So I'm just going to start with this ship. Let's see how far the AI on this website can actually deal with removing the background and voila you see that we have so many abnormalities with the background it's removed from this image you can see that you still have that pinkish thing around it and this doesn't work for us right so let's try another image if we can get this image right remember we did all of this seamlessly inside of photoshop right so this also has the same problem you can see the yellow in the hair it removed the background quite all right but when it comes to handling hair it's not just there at all right so let's give it a last chance to redeem itself let's do one more image so i'm going to do this image and i pray it does it well right so 
I'm going to use this cute lion. You can see again, we have the same issue. The cutout on the edge, especially for the hair, is bad. So now let's move on to another reputable website that we can also use. This is freepick.com. Right? So what I'm going to do is let me open this in a separate tab. Right. So this is freepick.com. Right? Freepick.com. So over here, let's go over to the images. Inside images, let's click on remove background. Right? I'm sure so many of you don't know that Freepik can actually remove backgrounds for you. Yes, you do. Now click on browse file. Right? So when you click on browse file, it's going to open up the files on your PC, of course, right? And not my PC. So when it opens it up, go over to where you have your file, navigate to where you have it, open it up like this, and select the image. So which one do we use first? Okay, yes, let's use this first. Let's use the image of the sheep with the bubble gum. So it's going to open up. When it opens up, come here. We're using the background, right? Select remove background here. Click on remove background. And you can see how perfect this selection is. And it's not like other websites where your resolution will drop. So the resolution is perfect. You can just go and download your image in peace. Right? Emphasis on in peace. Now, go to images again. Let's try another image. Remove background. Browse file like this. And um, click on, um, let's click on this. Let's, let, let's try this out. And um, the same way, remove background. Let's see what would get from this. And um, you can see that this is better compared to what the previous website gave us, right? But it's not as good as what we did inside of Photoshop by ourselves. Right now, let's go back and I'm just going to click on discharge and um, let me go back one last time. Let me, let me give this a last try. Let me try something else. So browse file again. And um, this time I'm going to be using this lion. Let's see what happens. I'm eager to see what this happens. Wow. So it's saying you can no longer remove. You have reached your limit for today. You can see that even as Flipik does a very, very, very good job at removing backgrounds, you have limitations. But with this technique that I've showed you, you can remove backgrounds from your images all by yourself, all day, 247, and you don't get limitation. If this video has helped you, kindly click on um, the like, share, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'll see you in the next video.